this is Rick Selge from exercisesforinjuries.com. Now, I wanted to kind of talk about scapular exercises and doing a scapular exercise to fatigue. It's not the best idea to do a scapular exercise to fatigue. So there's a fair bit of overlap when it comes to rotator cuff exercises and scapular exercises. And they just did some research you know, recently where they did an exercise that ended up focusing on the rotator cuff. But there's also some overlap when it comes to the scapular muscles with that exercise. So they end up performing like a W exer exercise. So where the person is lying on their stomach, their arms out to the side, there might be a slight bend in the elbow or it might be straight, and they're lifting up. And what they found is that exercise ends up targeting the rotator cuff muscles, so supraspinatus, infraspinatus, uh, and teres minor. But also that exercise ends up targeting the scapular muscles, so like the mid-trapezius, uh, mid uh, middle fibers of trapezius, and also rhomboids muscle. So you might be doing the exercise focusing and targeting the rotator cuff in order to increase the endurance strength and activation of the rotator cuff. But if you end up doing it as a scapular exercise and you're pushing to fatigue when it comes to that scapular exercise, so let's say you're doing it in a group exercise class um, or you're ending up doing it in a dynamic warm-up, upper body dynamic warm-up, and you're pushing things to fatigue when it relates to those uh, scapular muscles, remember that it ends up having an effect on the rotator cuff muscles and fatiguing out those three rotator cuff muscles. So keep that in mind when you're doing scapular exercises and pushing them to fatigue. It can have an effect on the rotator cuff muscles and fatiguing out those rotator cuff muscles end up increasing your risk of a shoulder injury. So this is Rick Asselch from exercisesforinjuries.com. Head on over to my blog and take a look at my shoulder injury guide. Download it. There's lots of great information when it comes to shoulder injuries. So this is Rick Asselch from exercisesforinjuries.com saying take care and bye-bye.